The Queen became the longest reigning British monarch in 2015 as she surpassed the reign of her great-great-grandmother Victoria. But royal commentator Sarah Vine has insisted the monarch should hand the reins over to Prince Charles and enjoy retirement. Speaking to Palace Confidential on Mail Plus, Ms. Vine said she could just retire and hand over to Charles. She doesn't have to die to do that, does she? She could just say, I'm still queen. That's what I think would be the sensible thing. I think he would have the chance to establish himself under her watchful eye and we'll all get used to the idea. And when she very sadly does die, it will be a very sad event but it won't be a catastrophic headache. However, Charles knows his mother will not abdicate the throne early for him unless she feels her mind not working sharply. Speaking to GB News, royal expert Angela Levin said, I think Charles knows. This is what she promised in her early 20s when she became the monarch and shush is very religious. She asked God to help her and I don't think Shell want to cross that path. But I also imagine Shush has got a lot of common sense and if Shush is then ill or she feels that her mind is not working sharply as it still is, she might do something. Shush has given Prince Charles a lot of extra obligations to fulfill for her which is quite right and HES accepted them quite well as have other members of the royal family. Royal editor Robert Jobson recently explained how the Prince of Wales has been doing a lot of the heavy lifting the past few years as the Queen can be expected to continue at the same pace. Speaking to Sky News, Mr Jobson said, he is certainly the longest serving heir to the throne. I'm sure he will continue to do so if the Queen wants to continue in that role. I'm sure there is enough scope if she wanted to step aside for him to become Prince Regent and that she can enjoy her retirement like the Duke of Edinburgh has from the age of 96 if she wants to. But otherwise in the Prince of Wales transition over the past 10 to 15 years, he has been taking on more of the responsibilities of the Queen. He does most of the heavy lifting in terms of long-haul flights representing the Queen and is supported by Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge as well. I think there has been a transition and you can't expect Her Majesty to continue at the same pace as she has the last 86 years.